Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the ATIT study manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. We're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 174. And we are on page number 101. We are on page number 101. Turn to it please. We are in the process of solving problem from the exam that you see there, which we are referring to as, a, uh, as test number 3. Test number 3. The other two tests, test 1 and test 2, are the ones that appeared in the previous edition, the fifth edition. You will find the solutions to the problems from test 2 and test 3 from day number 61 through 70 and 71 through 80. As a matter of fact, if you're interested in solving all the problems from this fifth edition, you will find the solutions to all of the problems from fifth edition from day number 1 through 80. We began a new series with the day number 101 when we began the sixth edition of the exam. There are no videos for 81 through 100. They do not exist. Let's take a look at it. Number 17 is what we're going to do. In number 17, it says a basketball player has been recruited from Europe to play in the US college. The player knows that he is 183 centimeter tall. College radio station wants to know the statistics in feet and inches knowing that one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. We just want us to convert, they just want us to convert his height from centimeter to feet and inches. Number 17. So the player we are told, player we are told is 183 centimeter tall. And we are we are given this this information is given to us. We are, what is given to us? What is given to us is the fact that one inch equals 2.54 centimeter. Now before we do any work, before we do any work, I want you, I want to show, I want you to look at uh, very quickly the answer choices. It says 92 inches, 465 inches, 6 feet, and 7 feet 2 inches. Let's see what we can do. Okay, before we actually before we actually invest any time actually doing it out, let, 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 let's understand what the answer choices are here. Ninety-two inches. How do, how, how do we put that in, pros, uh, in in perspective? We know everybody knows that twelve inches, twelve inches equal one foot. Twelve inches equals one foot. Well, if you were to take that quantity, 12 inch equals one, 1 foot, if you were to take this quantity and multiply this equation by 5, if you multiply both of these sides by 5, then 5 times 12 is 60. 60 inches equals 5 feet. And that is something we have to know. 60 inches equals 5 feet. Are you with me so far? Don't try to memorize this thing. Just learn. You have to memorize the basics. You just have, you have to know we have to know that 12 inches equals 1 foot, which everybody knows already. But you don't have to memorize how many inches in 7 feet and how many inches in 6 feet and so forth. Just multiply both sides by 5 and you find out that 60 inches equals 5 feet. Let's add one more, one more foot to it. Let's add another 12 inches. And that will become, if we add another 12 inches to it, if we add another 12 inches to it, we get 72 inches and that would equal 6 feet. Are you with me? Let's one more. Let's add one more in, uh, foot to it, and that gives us 84 inches, and that's seven feet. Let's add one more to it, and that's 96 inches, and that's eight feet. When was the last time you saw you saw a basketball player that was almost eight foot tall? This is ridiculous. It's just silly. What about this one? 465 inches. How do we figure out very quickly, not the exact number, but nobody's looking for the exact number, but very quickly, how do we figure out, how do we figure out 
what that translates into 465 inches it's very easy look it's very easy 12 inches 12 inches equals one foot doesn't it well if 12 inches equals one foot if you were to multiply both sides by 10 then 120 inches must equal 10 feet if 120 inches equals 10 feet if you add under 120 to it to it then 240 inches equal 20 feet you already see the insanity in it 240 240 inches is 20 feet this guy wants to be 465 inches it's just too silly besides the fact that we already crossed out 92 as being too high if 92 is too high 465 obviously just doesn't doesn't stay but I, I still want to know approximately how many feet is that 465 inches I just want to know if you add another 20, 120 to it 360 inches is 30 feet and another 20 to it 480 inches is 40 feet this guy doesn't want to be this guy wants to be almost 40 feet tall it's just silly it's going to be either 6 feet or 7 feet and 6 feet we just found out uh, 60 inches 60 inches was 5 feet if we had another 12 to 8 72 inches is equal to 6 feet if we had another, another 12 to 72 72 plus 10 is 82 plus 2 is 84 so 84 inches is 7 feet so this guy is somewhere between 70 and 80 inches somewhere between 70 and 80 inches and because he's a basketball player because he's a basketball player I'm going to assume that he's 7 feet 7, seven feet tall we're going to play with it okay? and 7 feet we know is 84 inches except we're not going to waste our time with 84 inches we're just going to pretend that it's 80 inches tall why 80 inches? because I don't want to deal with 84 I want to keep the calculation simple so let's see what happens shall we? watch what happens we are told that 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeter well the hell with 2.54 the hell with 2.54 don't do 2.54 let's just do 2.5 let's just do 2.5 now now that we know that one inch is approximately two and a half centimeter, one inch is approximately two and a half centimeters, we, we are assuming that he's around seven feet and seven feet is around 80 feet. Let's multiply both sides by 80. Multiply this side of the equation by 80 and this side of the equation by 80. Are you with me? So 80 inches is approximately how many centimeters? That's what we're trying to figure out. 80 inches is approximately how many centimeters? And to figure that out, you have to do 80 times 2.5. You see, 80 times 2.5. 80 times 2.5. And, and how do we multiply 80 times how do we multiply 80 by 2.5? It's very simple. It's very, very simple. 80 times 2 is 80 times 2 is 160. And half of 80, 80 times half, 80 times half is the same as saying half of 80. Half of 80 is 40. That's 200 centimeter. In other words, we just found out. We just found out that 80 inches is about 200 centimeters. This guy is only 183 centimeters. He doesn't. He doesn't even come close to 80 inches. He's only 170, 183 centimeters. We already know that you have to be 200 centimeters tall to be 80 inches tall. He's only 183 centimeters, which means he's not even 80 inches, let alone let alone 84 inches 84 inches would would have made him 84 inches would have made him 7 feet tall he's not 7 feet tall he's not 7 feet tall the answer is he's not 7 feet tall the answer is C answer is C and C C is 72 inches if you like we can do it out and put our mind to our mind at ease that 72 inches is approximately what he claims to be 183 centimeters would you like to do it let's do it together same same logic would apply as before same logic will apply as before okay i'm going to do it in a blue, blue ink i'm not going to raise anything with just with the blue ink instead of multiplying by 80 we're going to multiply both sides by 70. why 70 why 70 didn't you just tell me that six feet is actually 72 inches then why are we multiplying by 70? Because I don't want to deal with 72, do you? It will make the it will make the calculation miserable. So 
70 times 1 is 70 inches. 70 inches has to be approximately 70 times 2 and a half. 70 times 2 is 140. 70 times 2 is 140. And what is half of 70? Half of 70 is 35. 140 plus 35 is 175 centimeter. Is approximately 78. But here is 183. What is the discrepancy? What discrepancy is in the fact? Discrepancy in the fact that if he gonna, if, if he is six feet tall, six feet is 72 inches, not 70 inches. So you take care of two more inches. Add two more inches to it. Add two more inches to it. And if one inch, if one inch is approximately two and a half centimeter, then two inch is going to be approximately five centimeter. There we go. 72 inches is approximately 180 centimeter, which is what his height is, 183. The reason we are missing 3 centimeters is because of the fact that it's supposed to be 2.54, but we are only using 2.5. So we are underestimating his height. When we do the conversion to inches and feet, we are underestimating his height by the virtue of the fact that we are pretending that a that a, that an inch is equal to two and a half centimeter exactly. As a matter of fact, inch is more than two and a half centimeters. Inch is exact is actually two point five four centimeter, which is where we are losing about three centimeter. But that's not the point. We know what the answer is. So one more time, it's not it's, it's not going to be ninety two because that's just too that's just too silly. It's eight feet tall. This is just ridiculous. The guy is not going to be the guy is not going to be forty feet tall. It's either six feet or seven feet. You just pick one and move on. Just pick one, try it, and and move on. The answer is C. But whatever you do, don't waste your time with 2.54 business. Especially now, especially these days, now, now that they have allowed calculator on the exam, people just go bonkers. They just go crazy. They start punching in precise value for no good reason. It's just a waste of time. Number 18, question number 18, is I believe is the silliest question ever. In the exam, they're simply asking us to figure out three quarters in in percentage, in percentage, and in decimal. Oh, it's just too silly. Three quarters, three quarters is just 75 percent, which is simply 0.75. And how do we know that three quarter is 75 percent? It's just a silly question in itself. But how do I know it? Because everybody knows that one quarter is 25 percent. If, if one quarter is 25%, then if you were to multiply both sides of the equation by 3, then this, this 3 is just 3 over 1, do you understand? So 3 times 1 is 3, so 3 quarter has to be equal to 25 times 3, 75%. I can't even believe I'm explaining this thing. It's 75%, which expressed in decimal will simply be 0.75. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.